Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have seen various uninformed search techniques. We have seen breadth first search, uniform cost search, depth first search, depth limited search, iterative deepening depth first search, and bidirectional search. All these algorithms are uninformed search techniques, which means that we did not have any knowledge about the problem or any extra information. In the informed search techniques, also called as heuristic search techniques, we will be using the problem specific domain knowledge, problem specific knowledge beyond the definition of the problem. So these techniques are called as informed search techniques, also called as heuristic search techniques. So usually we try to find our goal is to find a more efficient solution as compared to the uninformed search strategy. And the general approaches which falls into this category are called as best first search. Here we will be having an evaluation function f of n. Based on the evaluation function, we pop the nodes and thereby expand the nodes. So this evaluation function contains one of the component has heuristic although we also have other components uh, but there are algorithms which only use heuristic function also so f of n contains one of the component as the heuristic function h of n so we will be using these values of f of n to find out which node to be expanded so as we can see here h of n is the estimated cost of the cheapest path from the state at node n to the goal state as we all know our main objective is to start from the initial node and to reach to the goal node and h of n will give us an estimate from the current node to the goal node and this is one of the component of f of n which is an evaluation function and using these f of n values, we will try to pop the nodes from the frontier and thereby expand it and move forward. So heuristic functions are the most common form in which additional knowledge of the problem is imparted to the search algorithm. And these heuristic functions are mostly problem specific and they are arbitrary, non-negative, problem specific functions with only one constraint which is if n is a goal node the h of n should be zero so the values can be anything but it should be positive it should be depends on the problem and uh, the goal node heuristic function value should be zero let's see the pseudocode of best first search so it is similar to the cost which we have seen which the pseudo course which we have seen in uninformed search algorithms so one of the important aspect is we can see we are looping until the frontier becomes empty if it is not empty then we pop the node we pop the node based on the priority queue which has the lowest f of n value and this once we pop the node we try to test if it is a goal node or not if it is a goal node we return it and thereby we stop this uh, stop searching if it is not the goal node we will be expanding the child nodes and each of these child nodes try to see whether the node is already there in the reached or if it is having more cost if it is not having in the reached or if it is having a better cost than the node which is already there in the reached we will be updating the reached of that particular node and also we add this new node to the front frontier so after passing through all the child nodes if you don't find the goal node then it will return as failure here the important thing is when we expand so we are running this for loop 
for all the nodes generated by this expand function. This expand function generates all the nodes by computing the cost. So here we have two costs as we have seen f of n can contain a path cost which means the cost incurred from the initial node to the current node and an action cost what is the cost incurred from moving state s to state s bar so together we use this cost to rightly pop the node which has the lowest value so we used a priority queue here as we can see if a frontier is a priority queue ordered by f with node as the only element and we also have the reached in the earlier uninformed search algorithms we have used explode instead of reached so it's just a terminology difference so this is about this is the pseudo code of the best first search algorithm let us see now one of the specific best best first search algorithm called as greedy best first search algorithm shortly called as gbsa so greedy best first search tries to expand the node that is closest to the goal on the grounds that this is likely to lead a solution quickly so it only worries about how close currently i am at a node and how close it is to the goal node it does not worry about how much cost incurred to reach to that node so therefore you only have the heuristic function h of n as the component in evaluation function f of n so f of n is equal to h of n so that is what is written here thus it evaluates node by just the heuristic function there is no other component and heuristic function computes the cost incurred or cost incurred to reach goal node from the initial uh, from the current node in greedy best first search next node is one that brings it to closest to the goal disregarding if another node ultimately yields a shorter distance we will see the optimality in fact it does it is not optimal gbsa is not optimal because it does not find out the optimal solution it looks for the only one which gives the closest to the goal node from the current node and gbsa evaluation function contains only heuristic function and usually in other alg algorithms like a star algorithm you also have other functions apart from the heuristic functions as part of f of n gbsa uses priority queue because we need to pop the node which has the lowest cost and uh, therefore we use priority queue as a data structure let us see now one example uh, to find out how the algorithm works so here we have been given a graph a directed graph where a is the initial node and f is the targeted goal node we have the heuristic function values in the bottom and our job is to pass through or apply the greedy best first search algorithm and try to reach to the node f as you can see there are multiple ways to reach to node f we need to find out the uh, best path to reach to the f although we know that gbsa greedy best first search does not guarantee that it is going to lead a optimal solution so let us start this uh, example so as you can see we have initial node as a and final node as f so let us start from the first node a in the front here we can see node a with cost 21 so this is the total cost this is although it is written h of n but in gb gb greedy best for search we have f of n as h of n so this is also the total cost and therefore once you have node a it generates immediately its succeeding nodes which are b c and d 
and we try to see which of the nodes has the lowest cost as you can see here the nodes D has the lowest cost which is 6 so we are going to pursue that path or that node for expansion so when you expand D you have node M which has a cost of 5 and once again no, D does not have any other children apart from M so once you expand M you have child as J and K J and K both has cost uh, heuristic function cost as 8 so among these but you can see here J and K has cost which is higher than the cost of the previous node C so now we are going to expand or the priority queue going to pop up the node C instead of J and K so the node C when it is expanded you have its children as I and E so the children i has a cost 6 and e has a cost 5 so now i node has the low e node has the lowest cost so we are going to expand the node e so e has only one children that is g and the g has a lower cost 2 as compared to any other nodes b i j and k so we are going to expand g and uh, it has only one child H and this H is once again going to be expanded as it has low cost and it reaches to the final goal node F. It is important to note that we are only looking at the lowest cost whichever node has the lowest cost. We might have pursued so deeper but if the cost incurred from there to the goal node is higher we will go back to the node which has the lowest cost and try to expand the nodes succeeding to it. So in this way we try to find out the goal node in greedy best for search algorithm. So this is the path of uh, solution highlighted in green. So GB so it is actually greedy best search algorithm best first search algorithm so it is not written here completely but fine GBSA is not complete because it does not guarantee that it will find a solution uh, it may or may not find a solution and this can happen if the algorithm gets stuck in cycle or if the search space is too complex so and it is also not optimal as it is only concerned with finding the most promising path and both time complexity and space complexity or order of b power m so the choice of heuristic function determines the time complexity and other factors so with a good heuristic function the complexity can be reduced substantially and the amount of reduction depends upon the problem and the quality of heuristic function chosen so as you can see uh, all in all the parameters uh, greedy best for search algorithm is not great so we have another algorithm which is an informed search algorithm called as a star algorithm which we are going to discuss in the next video